you model for Lancome from 82 to 96. So Lancome yeah. is extraordinary, huge, right. one of the biggest cosmetic company, and they yeah. gave me a huge contract where I was paid enormously, yeah. and we worked uh, in advertisement, and I learned a lot also in advertisement, yeah. communication, and again, my mom came to a great, be a great help because my mom modeled for me how you speak to the press, to courtesy, right. to clarity. So I became a very good spokesperson and served Lancome for many years, 14 years, and they ne never let me go for 14 years because they thought, you know, how do right. we, how, we cannot replace her. And but then, then one day... They could replace me because I turned 40. Because you're ah. too old. <laughs> too old. Right. I mean, the cliche about modeling yeah. is that you're, you're young and beautiful until you're no longer young and beautiful exactly. is actually... There's it's true. To that, so yeah. I remember confronting the CEO and saying, but all the marketing research saying that women are so happy uh, that I represent the company, why do you let me go? And he said, women dream to be young. So advertisement is about the dream. It's not about the reality. Right. And although we sell the cream right. to women that are 40 and 50, uh, it cannot, the dream is not represented by a woman that age. Well, they really want to be 30 and 20. Yeah. Well, right. well but that's the thing. Do, do you really want to be 30 and 20? No, yeah. no, no, no. I, mean, I said to my, it's my much... CEO, I said, <laughs> I will speak to my friends. Right. They, they don't, don't want say to be they 30 don't want to be, They want to be elegant. They want to be sophisticated. They don't want to be younger. Yeah, but we want to be who we are. But they don't believe it. That's yeah. ageism. Yeah. Is the belief that women only want to be a sexual object. So you're young and, you're, and it's not true. So guess what? 23 years later, after they let me go, a woman CEO came in. Francoise Liman, she had been here, there at the company when they let me go right. and stayed in her heart like a wound because she was going to be one day 45. And when she became the CEO, she called me. Said, come back. Come back. And be the face of Lancome, the mature face of Lancome, right? Isn't that great? And she's, absolutely. Isn't that great? And when, when she called me, I said, uh, I am 23 years older. I mean, uh, please look at me, you know, I haven't done anything. Right. Uh, but your cream, this is what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, and I said, why do you want to tell that story again? Because there might be controversy, and you know, the big companies are very right. careful. Why don't you get Helen Mirren, uh, Meryl Streep? You can still get a 60 year old and not take that story that you fired me, you yeah. didn't renew my contract. Oh, but there's one she said, Isabella Rossi. No, you tell the story on, because right. this, this is the best. So it was so moving, and still today, something I couldn't do then, um, I have her cell. I call her up, she answers me. That is also a new position Vastly for model. Right. I can talk to the CEO and say, you know, we did a new anti-age cream. And I called her, I said, Francoise, anti-age? I don't know, you know, can we talk about sophistication and glamour and feeling? And she listens. And she listens. You and have power. And she changed, she called it Renergy Glow. Ah, good. For glamour. Right. I hope that's I what hope, I want. I hope they pay you for marketing as well as modeling. 